So friends, now we learn about my computer. You had seen this icon of my computer on the desktop in our previous video. So what does this do? When you double click on this icon, the screen will open up. So my computer is just like uh, your house. So this is a map to your computer. Wh whatever is stored in your computer, this is a map to it. So like in your house, you have different rooms. In those different rooms, you have different cupboards. In cupboards, you have different drawers. Then under the drawers, you have different folders. Then there are different files which are saved in those folders. So it's just like this. In my computer, there are different rooms. There are different drives. That There is a C drive, D drive, E drive, H drive. Then there are certain removable storage devices that there is F drive which is your uh, DVD drive, then there is G drive, that is your CD drive. And if you connect a USB or a pen drive, then another drive will be created. So just like you have different rooms, in my computer, you have different drives. Now, inside those drives, there are different folders. Inside those folders, there are different files. So you can access all those things, all those programs, which are stored in different rooms of your computer from here. So just like if I have opened my documents folder, there will be certain subfolders that is my ebooks, my music, my picture, uh, address book, and furthermore. So let's take an example. So here is the option of this PC or my computer. When I double click, this window will open up. If I double click on C drive, the folders which are there in the C drives that will get open up. There are lot of program files so if I double click again subfolders will open up then uh, let's say if I'm going to Microsoft Office folder again further subfolders will open up then there are different programs there is access program there is uh, Excel program so once I double click on Excel your Excel program will open up so this is how you you can go through a uh, different windows, different folders, and you can select your desired program files from here. The shortcut to, is, to this is what we had seen in our uh, previous video. So uh, if I don't want to go through these many steps of uh, opening a program, let's say an Excel file is uh, the file which I frequently, the program which I'm going to frequently use, then I just create a shortcut of Excel file on uh, my desktop. And then I don't have to go through this particular process every time. I'll just double click on Excel from the desktop and I'll open it. So how to create a shortcut? Uh, just select your program, then right click. And then there is an option of send to. And then there is an option of desktop that is create shortcut. You select this and this program will, uh, a shortcut of this program will be created on your desktop. So let us understand Windows Explorer. So when once you click on my computer, an Explorer window will open up. It looks something like this. So there is a title bar which mentions the particular folder which you have opened up. Then there is a menu bar. So a lot of things which you can do with that particular folder, you can choose from here. Then there is a standard bar uh, from which you can go back, uh, forward, and then uh, there is this icon uh, wherein you can go to the parent folder from here so if i have opened my computer i have so in this particular case if i have opened edge drive then there are there i have opened documents and settings folder then under that folder i have uh, selected a subfolder of joe's then under this joe's sub uh, folder i have created another subfolder which is my documents under my documents i have opened my webs uh, and so on so this address bar shows exactly my current location uh, under which folder I'm currently on. That is shown under this address bar. Uh, then there is status bar, which mentions how many objects are there in this particular folder. So in this case, there are 161 objects. Then there is this scroll bar uh, over here at the bottom of the screen. And we see one scroll bar here on the uh, side of the screen. So with this, with the help of scroll bar, you can just click and move the cursor 
to go uh, towards right and left and to go up and down from from here so let us now do some practical things with windows explorer so i have this pc which is opened up i have opened a c drive uh, now i'll create a folder over here so i right click i do new and then i select a folder and i name it as test folder now there is this word document which i had created here let's say if i want to move this particular document from this location to test folder location i i can either click and drag it here so it shows me option of move to test and i leave the uh, click and it gets transferred to this particular location let's say if i want to use cut copy paste option so uh, i right click over here and there then there is an option of cut or copy so what what is the difference if i select cut that means this particular file will be removed from this location and it will be pasted on a new location which you select in case of copy the file does not get removed from this location a copy is created in your new desired location once you paste it so let's say if i'm doing a copy so i'll click on copy and let's say if i want to paste it here so i go back to the c drive and then i right click over here and or let's say if i want to paste it on desktop i'll go over here and i'll select the option of paste and this particular file gets pasted on my desktop then there are file and folder properties which you can see then there are folder options so let's say in this particular example i want to see the properties of my song folder so i'll right click over here and i'll go to properties so i would know exactly that what is the size of this particular folder when it was created uh, and then there are multiple options of sharing and security and all those things which i can manage from here and then uh, from file i can open further options so this particular thing helps me helps me set up my particular folder or uh, the view of my explorer so if i want to see certain hidden files which i am not able to see now i can select an option from here show hidden files or do not show hidden files and the size of icons and other things i can manage from here now there are certain file extensions and types depending on uh, your file you can select it so uh, if if i want to see a tech uh, a test document uh, a word document so i right click and i'll open properties here so i see an extension which is dot docx so from this extension i can identify which type of file is this also from uh, the icon it is very much visible that it is a word file but in certain cases uh, it is not very easy to identify from the icon then you can select properties and then you can uh, identify which type of file it is so usually dot doc or dot docx is your word document file then there is dot mp3 which is your music file then there is dot avi which is your multimedia file you have dot gif dot uh, jpg which is your image file uh, dot pdf pdf files dot xls which is your excel spreadsheet file and so on so once you start using the programs and start saving the files you will understand the the different types of uh, file extensions and the use of it so let's say if i want to search a particular thing on my computer a particular file or a folder let's say if i want to search a, a folder which has a name or contains a name test then i type it here then all the files and folder which will have test written on it uh, the name test it will open up and then i can 
double click from here and I can go into that particular folder and I can select my particular file from here. So yes, that's it for this video and keep learning to keep winning. Thank you.